Are you ready for another exciting video in exploration of the periodic table? In the previous video of this series, we examined the need of classifying elements, Dobereiner's triads, and Newland's law of octaves, which were crucial milestones in the development of the periodic table. In this video, we will delve into two more remarkable achievements, Lothar Meyer's classification and Mitli Mendeleev's periodic table. These two pioneering scientists revolutionized our comprehension of the elements, laying the groundwork for modern chemistry as we know it. Following the unsuccessful attempt of John Newland's law of octaves, Lothar Meyer's classification provided a new system for classifying elements. Lothar Meyer was a German chemist who, in 1864, proposed a classification of the elements based on their atomic volumes. This was a significant development in the field of chemistry and helped lay the foundation for the modern periodic table. So, how did Maya come up with this classification? Well, he determined the atomic volumes by dividing atomic mass with its density in solid states. He then plotted a graph between atomic masses against their respective atomic volumes for a number of elements and found some interesting observations. Firstly, he observed that elements with similar properties occupied similar positions on the curve. For example, the first element of the period I, alkali metals like lithium, sodium, potassium occupies the peak position of the curve. The least reactive transition metals like iron, manganese, cobalt, nickel occupy the minimas of the curve. The electronegative elements occupy the ascending slope of the atomic volume curve. The electropositive elements occupy the descending slope of the atomic volume curve. Overall, Lothar Meyer plotted atomic volumes against atomic weights and obtained different curves. He observed that elements with similar physical properties occupied a similar position in the curve and concluded that atomic volumes of the elements are a periodic function of their atomic masses. Now, you might be wondering, what does this mean for the periodic table? Well, Meyer's classification helped establish a relationship between a physical property, atomic volume, and atomic mass, which had not been done before. This was a significant step towards developing a systematic way of organizing the elements based on their properties. But, despite the importance of Meyer's work, his classification was eventually discarded because it lacked practical utility. The periodic table developed by Dmitri Mendeleev, which was based on both atomic mass and chemical properties, proved to be more useful in predicting the properties of elements and organizing them in a meaningful way. Interestingly, Meyer's work was not widely recognized during his lifetime. It was only after the periodic table developed by Mendeleev gained popularity that Meyer's work was rediscovered and given the recognition it deserved. Let's quickly review the merits, demerits, and conclusion of Meyer's classification before delving into the discussion of Mendeleev's periodic table. The merits of Meyer's classification include its role in laying the foundation for the modern periodic table, its demonstration of the periodicity of the elements, and its grouping of elements with similar properties. Meyer's work provided a framework for later scientists to build upon and contributed to our understanding of the elements and their properties. Meyer's periodic table was insufficient in comparison to Mendeleev's periodic table which was published the same year and made remarkable predictions about the discovery of certain elements. Meyer's classification was supported by a study of various physical properties related to atomic weights with no empirical or logical basis or classification, and such values are difficult to remember. To conclude, Lothar Meyer proposed the periodic law after studying the physical properties of elements, which states that when elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic weights, similarities in physical and chemical properties appear at regular intervals. Let us now study about Mitri Mendeleev's periodic table of the elements, which is one of the most significant achievements in the history of chemistry. Did you know that Mitri Mendeleev, the creator of the first version of periodic table, had a dream that helped him arrange the elements in a systematic way? 
In his dream, he saw cards with the elements on them, arranged in rows and columns according to their properties. When he woke up, he immediately wrote down the elements and their properties in the same arrangement as in his dream. This dream laid the foundation for the development of the periodic table. Mendeleev published his version of the periodic table in 1869 and it quickly became a fundamental tool for chemists worldwide. He based his periodic table on the idea that the chemical properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic weights. Mendeleev arranged the known elements in order of increasing atomic weight and grouped them according to their chemical and physical properties. He arranged the elements so that elements with similar properties fell into the same vertical columns of the periodic table. Among chemical properties, Mendeleev treated formulae of hydrides and oxides as one of the basic criteria for categorization. He wrote the properties of each element on individual cards and pinned them on the wall. He observed that elements were arranged in the increasing order of atomic mass and there was the periodic occurrence of elements with similar properties. Mendeleev's periodic table made a significant contribution to modern chemistry as it predicted the existence of several yet-to-be-discovered elements. When he noticed gaps in his table, he predicted that there must be elements that had not yet been discovered that would fit in those positions. For example, he predicted the existence of gallium, germanium and scandium, all of which were discovered within 15 years of his predictions. Mendeleev's periodic table also had a few differences from the modern version. For example, he had placed the rare earth elements in a separate table, rather than within the main table as is done today. Additionally, some of his groupings were based on similarities in chemical properties, rather than the number of valence electrons, which is the modern standard. Let us quickly summarize the merits, demerits, and conclusion of Mendeleev's periodic table. The merits of Mendeleev's periodic table are significant in the history of chemistry. Firstly, it arranged the elements in order of increasing atomic mass, which helped identify the periodic trends in the properties of elements. Secondly, Mendeleev's periodic table predicted the existence of undiscovered elements and their properties. This prediction became a significant success in the discovery of gallium, germanium and scandium among others. Lastly, the periodic table established the concept of periodicity in the properties of elements. Despite the significant achievements of Mendeleev's periodic table, it has some demerits. Mendeleev was unable to locate hydrogen in the periodic table. Increase in atomic mass was not regular while moving from one element to another. Hence, the number of elements yet to be discovered was not predictable. Mendeleev's periodic table did not account for isotopes. As a result, isotopes were placed in the same position as their parent elements, which led to confusion. To conclude, Mendeleev's periodic table was a significant milestone in the development of modern chemistry, providing a framework for understanding the properties of elements and their relationship to each other. Although it had some shortcomings, such as not accounting for isotopes and rare earth elements placed in a separate table, his work laid the foundation for further research and refinement, leading to the modern periodic table we use today. The modern periodic table has become an essential tool for scientists, educators, and students around the world to understand the properties and behavior of the elements. The modern periodic table emerged from the work of several scientists over several decades. It started with Dobrainer's strides and Newland's law of octaves, followed by Meyer's classification. Finally, Mendeleev combined all these ideas to develop the first version of the periodic table we recognize today, which predicted the existence of undiscovered elements. We have discussed the details, merits, demerits, and conclusion of these theories and ideas which led to the evolution of modern periodic table in this video. Hope you have understood the topic well and now, you should start studying the chapter with the Edurev app as you get video lectures notes, variety of questions, and MCQ tests for all the chapters of each subject.
It's like having the entire school in the pocket.